Yeah, we're really excited to play them. Obviously, they're a great team, um, so we're just excited to go out, come out and um, you know compete. Good deal, good deal. I, I mean, uh, you, this will be the second of three games this week. I mean, just as far as load management and how, what's the mindset as a player going into mm -hmm. you know the midway through three game week? Mm -hmm. We just got to take it one one game at a time. Um, you know, give our hardest uh, and play our all each game, um, and then from there, then we'll move on to the next one and. Um, you know, not really worry too much ahead or anything like that. I mean, looking at a team from Indianapolis, you faced a few of them already this season, but that presents another challenge. It's somebody you don't see every given week. And what do you see about Cathedral? You know, what is uh, something that you, you have on your radar for them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're excited to be able to play, um, you know, a different team that we don't normally play every year. Uh, like I said, they're a great team. They got a lot of good players, um, very athletic. And so we're excited uh, just, just to be able to compete against them, like I said. Good deal, good deal. Um, you know, Friday night, it's a big game. What, what do you look forward to the most? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I just say being out on the court again, um, you know, another opportunity to play. We never want to take it for granted, especially, um, you know, in a time like this. So just being out on the court again, for sure. As your senior season, your regular season starts mm -hmm. to kind of come to the finish line. I mean, what do you hope as yourself that you can kind of uh, is there anything you're wanting to get out of these last few games before you head into sectional play and playoff time? Yeah, we just want to keep getting better. Um, you know, obviously, it's um, it's a long season and there's still a lot left, especially um, you know headed into the state tournament and everything. So we just want to um, you know continue working and getting better. Good deal, good deal, Caleb. Anything else you want to add? Uh, that's about it. All right, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank I think you. we're really bonding and gelling well because we ha we've had a few quarantines so far in the uh, second half of the season, but we've come back and we haven't missed we haven't missed a beat, and so we've been able to really play well, even though some of our guys have been out. I mean, really, besides that one blemish on your guys' record, a really outstanding performance from you guys this season. Mm -hmm. What seems like what is the the key? I know you maybe not give the secret yeah. sauce away, but yeah. what has been the key to your guys' success? You know, we know uh, everybody knows that Caleb, we're going to feed the ball into Caleb whenever we can, and so we're going to run thing, run things through him, and he's really tough to stop. And so that's and so we feed we, we feed him the ball, we uh, feed off of him, and so we just play from there. You know. Getting a fair share of Indianapolis teams, you mentioned that you don't get to see them a lot. With Cathedral, you've never mm -hmm. seen them. You've never seen them at all in school history. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, what kind of challenges are presented with a team that you know you may have to do a little bit more film work on them because you haven't yeah. had the opportunity to play? Yeah, you know, it's always easier when you're used to playing against certain. Like we're, when we play against each other in open gym, it becomes we get used to playing against each other. We know our ins and outs, but we've never seen these guys before, and so we we've just looked at film and film at them just now, and so we're excited to accept the challenge of a new team that we never played before, for sure. You know, you, you said, you, you mentioned some of the things that you'll have to do to limit them, but what are you guys going to have to shine with on Friday night, too, in order to pick up the win? You're just going to have to dominate the paint, rebound, get it inside, and win the small key. Yeah, as the season starts to come to an end, where would you like to see this team fine-tune in some areas before hitting the playoffs? Uh, we've just had a couple games where our threes haven't really fell, uh, so hopefully those, those will start falling. I'm sure they will. You know, this has every opportunity to be a close, good game tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You've been in your fair share of those this year, too. Yep. What is the key to getting out of those with a win? You know, just last game, we were down 16 at halftime to Snyder, and I think our guys really showed good poise. And uh, even though we knew that we, we shouldn't have been down 16, we, we kept our poise, we kept our composure, and we, we, and we knew that we were good enough to come back and win the game. And so I think uh, we all know that we're good enough to keep ourselves in any game, whether, what, no matter who the opponent is. So I think that's really good for us. What do, you, what do you look forward to when you have matchups like this? Uh, it's always exciting to play a good team. Um, them just coming in here and pushing us to our best ability is always exciting. So we're just going to come in here and get ready to play and hopefully play our best and come out with a victory. You've seen some film so far. What about Cathedral stands out to you that you guys have to watch out for tomorrow? They're a really good team that can shoot one through five. They all play well as a team. So they're going to present some challenges for us, but we're just going to hope to D up and stop those challenges they present. You know, going through a tough week of basketball, you had Snyder earlier this week come from behind win, awesome job, you know, and then you have a tough team like this. How do you mentally as a player work through those those longer weeks? Yeah, just always focus one game at a time. If we start thinking ahead, that's when we get in trouble. So we just always focus on the opponent that we have ahead, and then we just kind of nail that down and just focus on them. Good deal. You know, as you guys are entering into the final stretch of your season, where would you like to see this team fine-tune in some areas before hitting playoffs? Uh, we can always just get better at – playing good defense and communicating. There's always improvement on hustle and stuff. So just kind of fully coming around in our defense, and then that should put us in the best ability come March. You know, um, when you have unique challenges like this with a team that you haven't faced before, 
does it give a little bit of extra edge before you go into the game, a little bit of extra fire to kind of show, put, put Blackhawk on the map only against a team like Cathedral? Yeah, we always come in kind of with the same mentality. We're always coming in prepared and ready to play no matter who the opponent is. So coming into this game, we're just going to keep the same, same mentality we've had the whole year. Good deal. What do you think makes Blackhawk a, the number one team in 2A? I mean, what, what about you guys gives you guys that identity? Just our team chemistry. We're always there for each other, always moving the ball really well. I feel like that's a lot of teams that kind of just get a little selfish and we're just there always putting each other up instead of bringing each other down. Well, uh, Cathedral's a really good basketball team, and we've had a chance to see them play several times. And so they uh, definitely present some challenges for us. I think we can present some challenges to them. So uh, it should be a good matchup. should be a lot of fun. What are you emphasizing to your players tomorrow that they have to be aware of with this Cathedral team? Well, they got really good guard play, so we need to close out really well. We need to contest shooters, and we also need to contain drivers. And so uh, you know, I think the way we close out is going to be a huge part of the game. You know, I've mentioned to some of the players, it's kind of an interesting matchup when you get a team that you haven't seen too much of, or in this case, you haven't hardly seen at all. I mean, what type of problems or, you know, things come with that that you try to overcome? Well, every game presents a unique set of challenges, and especially when you play a team like Cathedral, who's extremely talented, um, you know, they're going to they're gonna be a good test for our defense. And so, uh, you know, we're going to have to close out well, contest shooters, and obviously we've got to rebound to basketball. How do you use these type of games to kind of, in the overall grand scheme of things, prep for playoff basketball that's coming up in about a month? Yeah, I mean, at this stage of the game, it's, it's really about details and, and really fine-tuning things. Um, you know, what we want to do is continue to get better each day, and I feel like we've done that. And so, uh, you know, hopefully tomorrow's going to be another day where we just continue to get better and continue to focus on the things that are, have helped us be successful. Deal. Talking about details, what are those details that you'd like to see out of your team? Uh, I mean, the biggest thing for us, it always starts on the defensive end. I mean, we've got to guard them, we've got to make a miss, we've got to rebound it. And then, uh, you know, we like to get out in transition, so do they. And so, uh, you know, it should be an up and down game. It should be a lot of fun. Good deal. Well, who do you, maybe not necessarily even who, but what do you think could be the difference in this game? Well, we're going to have to rebound to basketball. I mean, they're, uh, they're a, a team that tries to get you spread out defensively. And so uh, we got to maintain our spacing, and uh, we got to be able to help and then recover to our man to box them out. I think uh, if we can control the backboard, that's going to be really important. Good deal. I mean, just kind of a season recap, you know, so far, what have you liked about this team, you know, through the, the course of, the, of play so far? Well, I just love the cohesiveness of this group, and we've talked about unity all year, and these guys are just really a, a united group on and off the floor. They get along well. They encourage one another, a uh, really positive group and just a, a lot of fun to be around.